Hey guys, and welcome back to the season B. I'm sorry, I burped. We are talking again about chilling in another world with level two uh, superpowers, no, cheap powers. And this week we get introduced to Hia, the god or goddess, uh, who the the jinn who basically granted granted uh, the hero's request. And I'm a little bit bothered by the jinn, mostly because in the text on Wikipedia it says the jinn is androgynous and does not have a gender and flips. But in the anime they're referring to the jinn, the the jinn as a she so i don't know if the, this is like a example where the anime just changed her gender or if she's going to go by different genders um every episode which would be really cool if you got gender fluid rep in an anime where the character you know ch chose one gender one minute and one gender the next that would be awesome but i have a feeling that no this is just another example of the anime changing her gender which I don't really like, but then again, it's a small nitpick. Uh, Freo goes ballistic when he finds out that she hurt. No, you know what? I'm, I'm going to call them they because in context, they are androgynous and they go, go by as and they go by neither gender. So I'm going to call them they and be respectful. Um, but yeah, F Freo, when he finds out that they hurt um, Reese, he goes ballistic. And I really like that scene because it reminds me of Tsukimichi. If you remember Tsukimichi at the end of the first season, uh, when uh, Makoto discovers that somebody um, he he knows has been hurt um, by the the villain people, he just basically snaps. And I love scenes like this. I think they're really interesting to show that the or that the protagonist has a much darker much more dangerous inner side to him that you you basically don't want to cross if you hurt his loved ones he will snap you in half i don't really like the idea of them talking him out of killing her mostly because i think it's just an excuse to put her in the cast uh if there was an actual reason like uh like he can't kill her or like the fact that he's gonna lose his mind then maybe but you know it's it's, it's just to put her in the cast um, I do like the fact that they tie it back to the beginning of the series, because if you remember at the beginning of the series, when he saves Reese, basically he says, I don't want to kill anybody, I don't want to hurt anybody, you know, I'd rather not do that. So, at least there's a little bit of correlation. I also am interested to know how this ties into what's going to happen with the hero, because the hero is basically turned into this creepy giant monstrous creature by i don't know if she's possessed by a witch or if she actually was the witch but basically a witch um he releases her and she basically he turns the hero into this giant monstrous thing and that's gonna spell really bad things in the near, in the near future but uh yeah this is better than it was um i'm still a little bit bored by it and i still don't like the fact that we haven't really gotten a lot of plot, but at least it's something. And at least it's more than, you know, what we got previously. So I will see you next week, and I'm kind of looking forward to it now.